Kathleen Gaffney joins us. I think she's beaten 96 uh, percent of her peers over the last year and the last five years. And this year, a uh, year to date, she's beaten PIMCO's uh, total return bond fund, I think twice the return uh, of what PIMCO has done. So, Kathleen, you guys have done a great job there at Luma Sales. Thanks so much for joining us. Uh, Thanks, what do you Matt. What do you expect? You know, we were just talking during the break, and a lot of guys here uh, at the Stock Exchange are very angry about what's going on in Washington. But what would the negative fallout actually be? What would the real effect be of a downgrade of our uh, credit rating? Well, the real effect of the downgrade uh, is not likely to be is not likely to be huge. It's it's a big deal in terms of the the fact that the folks down in Washington can't get their act together and can't settle on a path towards fiscal discipline and in the long term that's that's the real risk but in the near term it shouldn't be that big a deal we so, actually so, saw so Canada go through a similar globally, so it's embarrassing globally uh, and obviously for the for the taxes of our children and grandchildren horrendous but you're saying it wouldn't be a real blemish on the U.S. economy? Not in, the, not in the near term. When you think about what treasuries serve as a role for investors in the short term is for liquidity. And it will continue to be a large liquid market, whether it's AAA or AA. But it does have real risks in the long term. You know, it's interesting, though, Kathleen. We're already seeing bond uh, dealers kind of make some move. Adam, I want to bring you into this, because bond dealers have specifically been cutting uh, their holdings in corporate debt at this point significantly, in fact, since May. Yeah, since May, as a matter of fact, dealer inventories are down about 18 percent. That's pretty dramatic. You don't usually see that kind of move month over month. And it's really pretty simple. Uh, it's a case of supply and demand. On the one hand, demand is up. Investors want yield. In other words, where else are you going to put your money? What else are you going to buy? So you go into corporate bonds. On the other hand, supply is down. Remember, corporations are sitting on about $1.6 trillion in cash. That is a record level of cash. So they don't exactly need to issue bonds. And I guess, Kathleen, the question is, at this point, a, where do we go from here? And B, if dealers are not holding these bonds, are they sort of telling us something that maybe we ought to listen to, that bonds are about to start trading down? If they don't want to hold them, what do you think? Well, I think one of the reasons why they don't want to hold them is just that it's getting to, it's getting more expensive. So at the margin, there's less capital available uh, on the trading desks, and so for that reason, there's less there's less inventory. That's a problem not only if if interest rates go up because of a downgrade, but as interest rates go up in general with a stronger economy, it's going to be more expensive to hold inventory. So I, in in that type of a rising rate environment, it does get more. Uh, expensive to trade, to transact. So you really want to be in a strategy where you're holding on to your bonds for a longer period of time. And right, well, of course, rates have to rise from here anyway, right, Kathleen? It's just a question of how quickly and if that exacerbates the process. Yes, and they don't show any signs of rising dramatically anytime soon. And so in that low rate environment, there continues to be that quest, that grab for yield. And, and, and Kathleen, you still have a fair amount of corporate exposure, correct, in your fund? I, it looks like it's, it's actually the bigger, the biggest uh, percentage if you look at the asset allocation. It is. We think that, that there's that demand for yield and the fundamentals, even though the economy is growing slowly, it's growing. And that's a positive backdrop for credit. So that has worked well this year, uh, as well as the uh, non-dollar, the currency positions. What do you think? I mean, if we're in our little straw poll, add your vote here. Do we see a downgrade or do we see a plan within the next, I guess we have, what, about 75, 80 days left? Do we see a plan that will save us from that? I would like to see a plan. I don't think we see a plan. And I think that in terms of a downgrade, uh, we're pretty, I, I would, I'm pretty certain that at least by one agency, we're going to see a downgrade. That may be a good thing in order to get politicians to move and move towards a plan that demonstrates real fiscal discipline. Mm. Keeping our fingers crossed on this. Kathleen, thank you so much, as always. Kathleen Gaffney, uh, co-manager of the Luma Sales Bond Fund.